Well, all right. Now we're going to go over the headgear you need if you're going to be a buckaroo. So we'll start over here with the snaffle. You got to have your basic ring snaffle. That's that's an important thing. I uh, I think just about any discipline they start horses in some kind of a snaffle. But if you're going to be a buckaroo, you got to have a McCarty rope, or if you're Spanish inclined, uh, you'd call it a macate. But we turned it into an Irish word. We call it a McCarty rope. That's what this. That's what the reins are. And you got to have slobber leathers attached to your bit. That's how you get that hooked up. Now, let's see. Well. I really don't feel like explaining how to use a McCarty rope, but basically it's like one continuous loop rein, and then you got a get down rope that comes off here. But that's how that works. The reason we use them is because we don't ride with halters on. So if we got to tie up a horse, you can tie up the like the rein parts behind their head, tie a bowline in it. Then take your get down rope and throw a few half hitches in it. And then you can tie it up and they can pull on as hard as they want. They'll never break it. Now, then after that snaffle bit, we'll probably ride in one of these for a while. And you guys all know what that is. A bazaar and the whole setup with the hanger. Bazal and horsehair McCarty rope it is called a hackamore, obviously. But we'll ride with this for a while once we get kind of the, the worst of the bronchiness out of them. Um, once again, the horsehair McCarty rope, it works in the same way that the snaffle bit McCarty rope works in. Um, but you would, definitely wouldn't want to tie a horse hard and fast with a horsehair uh, McCarty rope because they could break it pretty easily. But hopefully, by the time you get to this, you should have all the pulling back and stuff fixed out of them, and you can tie them by the reins. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So if you wanted to know how to say hackamore in... Spanish, it's Hakima. And, uh, yeah, that's Makate in Spanish. All right, and then the next step, you gotta save up for one of these. Spade bit. These aren't cheap. Now, the kind I like, this is called a Santa Barbara cheek. See this big round part here? That's called the bell. And now, in Spanish, uh, well, you'd call this el frino. And I don't know how to, what that means, but that's the, el frino is the pronunciation in Spanish. Now, spade bit. The reason they're so expensive is because of this silver, but it looks really good. But once you get a horse to where you can ride them with this kind of bit, you're really going to appreciate what this gives you. Now, and the kind of reins we use on this spade, these are called Romel reins. We'll see here. So, they're connected to the bit down here with the rein chains. Now, there's two reasons for the rain chains. It gives it more signal because of the more weight. And back in 1830s California, they actually used rawhide Romel reins. And actually, in the desert in Nevada and southern Idaho, they still do use rawhide Romel reins. But here in Minnesota, where it rains a lot, I like leather. Um, because if you know what rawhide's like when it gets wet, it's not pretty. 
Oh, and th this is the Romel, is what this is. This comes in handy a lot. If you need to really get going in a hurry, you can kind of whop your horse with this. Or if you need to swat at some cows that aren't moving, this is just, there's a million uses for this thing. Now, these, the spade bits you get today are a little different. This one is more for a quarter horse. It's swept back a little bit more. The old time ones, they really stood up really straight. Let's see here. You can see this one sweeps back a little more. A lot of them you'll see are more straight up and down, which is uh, the older style. Well, the older Spanish horses, um, they carried their head a little different than the quarter horses we ride today do. So, but you can still get a, a more straight up and down one. But uh, you just gotta, you gotta remember that uh, the American quarter horse didn't really come about until <clears throat> after World War II. Um, that's when it started. If you actually look at um, a lot of horses, a lot of quarter horses uh, go back to three bars, who was actually a thoroughbred. So, anyway, now, all this stuff, it adds up to quite a bit of money, but if you're going to be a buckaroo, that's what you, you, you got to do that. I mean, and actually, some guys learned how to make this stuff. This horsehair McCarty rope was made by a friend of mine in Idaho. Um, I picked this up, this Bozell. At a saddle shop in Idaho. Um, this spade bit comes from Buckaroo Businesses, Billings, Montana. I have no idea where I got this snaffle. I got it such a long time ago. But, uh, oh, this McCarty rope on the snaffle, this is, uh, I think it's like yacht rope or something for like a boat but I like it because if it slides in your hand it's not gonna burn your hand so much it's really soft but it's got weight to it so anyway that's the headgear you need be sure to hit that like button below thank you